All right, welcome back. It's been a while, I know, but today we're doing a product review overview on the AABOC EP25 12 volt fridge. To preface, AABOC did send this fridge to me gratis in exchange for this review. However, I've earned it because I put in the work making this video and the opinions that I'm going to express are completely my own. What is the EB25? Well, it is a 27 quart or 25 liter 12 volt fridge. They had originally reached out to me wanting to do a review on a 45 quart fridge. However, I've got two of those sitting on my patio right now that I don't use because I've downsized my life into a smaller vehicle and they don't work. Uh, you can see here, I flip the top on it and it just smacks the roof. They just don't fit in the back of my CX-5. So I said, hey, I don't really have a use for that, but I do have a potential use for this product. And I think that there is room in the space now, actually, because a lot of people are getting out of their bigger SUVs, bigger four-wheel drives, and going to a smaller car. Even like my buddy Ben with the Average Overlanders, he's got the Mini Caliente now. He's gotten rid of his ZR2. And that seems to be the trend with a lot of people right now. Things are tightening up. People are having to scale back. Well, obviously, you don't need a 45-quart fridge if you're in a smaller vehicle because it doesn't fit. And maybe there's just not that many of you going or you're not taking as long of a trip and you just need to haul snacks and food for one night you don't want to deal with a cooler well enter the EB25 this thing's actually surprisingly good and it's good because of how unsurprising it is in my mind a good appliance is like other people's kids it should be seen and not heard it's a good appliance if you're not dealing with it if it's not causing you frustration if it's not overly loud breaking down all the time you having to follow up on it to see if it's still running or operating normally well this fridge kind of just does and it does pretty well and it's a very simple construction and it's a very decent price point for what it is going down the list of features well it comes with two plugs it comes with a 110 outlet plug and it also comes with a 12 volt socket for your car the capacities inside are enough to haul a sufficient amount of groceries uh, you can actually put full length long neck bottles in it if you so desire it is a single zone fridge meaning that it only has the choice of either being a freezer or a fridge but again if you're going on shorter trips you can probably do without frozen things or you'll make it work somehow powering it on the noise level is actually kind of low and i think that has to do with just because it's a smaller fridge it may have a smaller compressor setting i don't know but i didn't notice near the noise of this fridge running as i did with some of the other 45 quarts i've had in the past it also seems to have a lower electrical draw which is good i don't mind actually plugging this one in directly to the accessory port in the back of the mazda because it does feature some things like battery protection modes where it has three different levels of battery protection so if your battery drops below a certain level any one of those three predefined levels it'll just shut off and it won't run now you might lose your groceries if it's done for an extended amount of time but at least you know your car is going to start and that makes this really handy for something i never really thought of but if you're out grocery shopping and you've got other errands to do but you go by the grocery store first well here's an option right here to keep your frozen or refrigerated goods good until you can actually get back home and put them in your fridge the functionality actually is pretty good on the front you've only got a couple of set of buttons you've got an up down to control your temperatures and or cycle through any menus and then you've just got one settings button and a power on off button which is great because it's very simple it's very simplified now it is the kind of buttons that have no tactile feedback to them I'd take a point off for that if I was really being nitpicky because I do kind of like tactically pressing a button. It works much smoother than like the new air that we reviewed a long time ago with its buttons like this. It was god awful. But the thing that really stands out in my mind to this, uh, aside from this nice form factor that sits perfect in the back of the Mazda and allows me to open the lid without striking anything, is that this features a Bluetooth app for connectivity and control of this. So you can control settings, you can change temperatures, and you can also monitor temperature all from whatever range your Bluetooth capable phone can get from this. So in the past, when I had all of the other 45 quart fridges in the back of the Land Rover, I also kind of had this anxiety as to, well, what's going on with the fridge? Is it still running? Is it still running? Is it still running? Which leads you to want to pull over and check things out more frequently than you need to. Or you have the other option of having whoever's in your passenger seat 
crawl over all your crap to go to the back and look at what the fridge is doing. Well, that's been eliminated with this fridge because you have that Bluetooth ability. You just pull your phone out and look, okay, here it is. Oh, it's, it's, it's running hot or it's not running, so let's go look at what's going on. It's convenience, and it's convenience I think that is really good, and the fact that they've incorporated it at their price point versus others that you would find this level of technology and sophistication at, well, it's a pretty good value. It's not without its flaws. This is a nice little shape. However, these handle spaces right here, I can barely get my fingers in. And it makes it kind of awkward to carry it. Now the unit only does weigh 23 pounds, so it's not super heavy. I can put my arms around and carry it and probably load it with a bunch of groceries. It wouldn't be much worse. It's just kind of awkward. The other thing is because it is so short, the compressor sits right here. It's really, really, really heavy to this side when you go to lift it to pick it up to carry it. So without having a good handle right here, it kind of wants to slip this way on you. Um, it's kind of irritating. Another point that I wasn't too crazy about, and it seems to happen with all of these manufacturers, and I, I think that, um, I don't know, they want you to set up some sort of login account ID with your email address attached to it whenever you use this app to control this. And I don't really think that that's necessary. Um, if you're a privacy person, you really don't want to have to give over that kind of information just to run an appliance that you've already bought. The other thing is I don't know if there's any kind of data reporting on that app going back anywhere have to run it by an app developer somewhere to find that out. But aside from those two gripes, I really don't have anything else bad to say about this unit. I will tell you that I haven't had it that long. So to give you a good estimate of how the longevity of this thing is gonna play out or its reliability, I'm gonna to have to follow up in a few months. AABOC does cover this with a 12 month warranty. Now their warranty and customer service information can be found in the back of the manual, which is, I guess, something else I can kind of talk to a little bit. This manual that comes with it is very, very simple. And it is not the best written, but it's not the worst I've seen for an offshore company. It's small and simple, but the warranty information's in there and all of the functionality information is in there to figure out how to run this thing. Uh, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this thing. It's, it's a decent unit and it does pass the test that I would have put to it, which is, would I buy this with my own money? Yeah, if I needed one, I would. I wouldn't hesitate buying this particular fridge with my own money at this particular price point. I feel like it provides plenty of value it does seem to be fairly well built and the gripes that I have about it are minuscule and really not that important in the grand scheme of things. It works, it works as advertised and it is very convenient with the integration of the Bluetooth app so that I don't have to worry about it. I just put it in the car and I go. So that being said, thanks again to Aobosi for providing this unit for a review. Until next time, be good.